Brian Cavan Elizabeth, a wedding photographer based in San Diego, and today I'm going to be going over the pros and cons of a first look, which is when a couple sees each other before the ceremony on the wedding day. You've most likely heard of a first look now that you're in wedding planning. And again, a first look means when the couple sees each other before the ceremony. Now, I don't know if I've talked about this in the past, but the tradition of the couple not seeing each other from before the ceremony came actually from a really, I don't know, like not a good place. So what would happen is back in the day when arranged marriages were extremely common, they did not want the groom to see the bride before the ceremony aisle because they were afraid that if he saw her and didn't like the way she looked, that he would back out. But their thought process was if we wait until the aisle, then it's too late for him to run, which is so just horrible on so many levels. But that is where that tradition came from. So if you are a person who loves tradition, I just want to make sure that you know that that is where it came from. Maybe you just like it for its more like traditional type like values. But if you were somebody who likes the meaning behind traditions, now you know this, maybe now you like want to do a first look because you don't want to wait on the aisle. Anyway, I'm going to be going over the pros and cons. I personally prefer first looks for many, many reasons that I'm going to about to get into. I think that the wedding day feels less stressful. It feels easier. It feels less super fast paced and fleeting. When you see each other before the ceremony, you have time together for portraits and just having some private alone time. I think that that makes the wedding day feel really nice. I've had a lot of clients who were on the fence and ultimately they chose based on my recommendation, never forcing couples, but on the recommendation they chose to do one and they have always said they were so glad that they ended up seeing each other before the wedding because it just made them feel more at ease. They loved having all of the photos. But anyways, enough about that. So the major pro of having a first look is that you actually get to enjoy your cocktail hour. If you do not do a first look, you are probably going to use every single minute of your cocktail hour spent on family photos, bridal party photos, and couples photos. Whereas if you do a first look and you get as many of those out of the way as possible before the ceremony, then you get to mingle with your guests during cocktail hour. And for me, that was an extremely important, important thing to be able to do. And for many of my couples, they want more face time with their guests because a lot of these people, they never get to see. So for them, they didn't want to be taken away from cocktail hour for a full hour. They wanted to spend that with their guests. So that is a huge reason for having the first look. The second biggest reason, and honestly, it might be even better than that first reason, is you have way more couples photos than you would if you did not have a first look. Because if you can plan for a first look and couples portraits before the ceremony, you can give it 30, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour worth of portraits. Whereas during cocktail hour, if you spend, let's say maybe 15 to 20 minutes on family photos, you spend 15 minutes on bridal party photos now you might only have like 20 minutes maybe even like 15 minutes left for couples photos so what you're going to get out of that is a very small amount plus you're not going to be able to go to very different locations because you don't have the time if a photographer only has 10 to 15 minutes for portraits they're probably going to stay in the same general area and they're going to get those classic shots first maybe a couple walking shots but there's not going to be as much time to have a huge variety of portraits in the posing and the backdrops and maybe even the emotions if you have such limited time so if couples photos are extremely important to you then having a first look is going to be a great thing to do because without it again you're so limited on your time it's just a matter of what do you care about more do you care more about adhering to the tradition of seeing each other down the aisle or do you care more about enjoying cocktail hour or getting more portraits Another great benefit of the first look is that your makeup will be fresher for that moment. As opposed to after the ceremony, maybe you've cried or it's gotten hot during the ceremony, your makeup will not be as fresh during that time as it might have been earlier in the day. And of course, this probably matters more for summer weddings where it is warmer, or if you're extremely emotional and you're worried that you're crying during the ceremony might mess up your makeup. Well, after the ceremony, if your photos have already been done, then who cares? You can just clean up as much as you can and go about your day. So that's another really lovely benefit to it. Another one that I hear from my couples is that the first look 
actually helped calm them down. It was very comforting to see their spouse before the ceremony because they got to just relax with each other. So that is something that I've heard and I think that's really sweet because you get very little alone time on the wedding day. Even while you're eating dinner, people will be coming over to your table. You're pulled in all sorts of directions. There's very little alone time for the couple on the day. So if you're having a first look, it is going to give you that, which can be really lovely. Another pro to having a first look, especially if you have a winter wedding where the sun sets much earlier than it does in the summer, and especially, especially if you're getting married near mountains where that sun essentially goes down even earlier in a way because the mountains are blocking what left of the sun is. So that's something to consider is that by having this first look, you can make sure that all of your portraits are in beautiful natural daylight as opposed to risking them possibly being in the dark or really dark after your ceremony if the sun is setting, let's say at four and your ceremony starts at three. By the time you get to your bride and groom portraits or your bride and bride, groom and groom, it might actually be dark. So if you want beautiful natural light portraits in the winter, a first look is a great thing to do that for. For me, those are the most major pros of doing a first look. I certainly think it's worth it. I love when my couples do it because we have a lot more time for everything. When I have a couple that does not do a first look, I spend that entire cocktail hour with them while my second shooter tries to balance the time between cocktail hour guest moments and then reception decor because they have to manage that time because I am spending the whole hour with the couple for portraits. Whereas if there was a first look, typically my second shooter can stay at cocktail hour getting candids and detail shots the whole time while I can spend a good chunk getting reception details. So for me, I like that because I know that we're gonna get a larger coverage of everything that's going on because we've already taken care of the portraits so I am freed up to do reception details and that's really important to a lot of my clients and then also so is guest coverage and it's really hard for a second shooter to get a full guest coverage especially for 7,500 plus guests and get those reception details like and have time to make everything as perfect as possible so if that's something that's really important to you it's another great thing to consider now moving on to the cons of a first look I want to stress that even though I prefer a first look, um, the amount of cons that I'm listing, which are pretty small, like I really made sure that I listed as many as I could think of and I didn't want to be biased. So for me, the cons would be that you do have to start your hair and makeup earlier in the day because you have to make sure that you're done early enough to fit in all of those portraits before the ceremony. Another thing that that can do is that can make your photography coverage longer because normally if there's no first look, the photographer shows up a little closer to the ceremony than they would. So you might lose a little bit of time from reception coverage. If you want more of that, that is something to consider. You can always add it on, but you're gonna probably need a little bit more coverage if you're doing a first look to cover all of that getting ready, portrait ceremony, and then enough of the reception. Now, honestly, with proper planning, you can fit as much as possible into your reception before the photographer leaves because you only need so much open dancing photos. You really want to make sure that your major events are covered, like your dances, your toast, maybe if you are doing a cake cutting, any other little thing like that that's happening. Um, that's something that you want to make sure that is covered if that's important to you. Another con could be, and a lot of people speculate that this might happen to them, but I don't actually hear a lot of people saying it in reality, is that by seeing each other before the ceremony, that it's not going to be as impactful or as emotional when you do see each other on the aisle. That again is something that I hear a lot of people say they don't want to have happen and that's why they don't do the first look. But again, I've never had a couple say it was any less impactful. In fact, I've still had couples cry the second they see each other on the aisle, even though they saw each other 20 minutes before. So that's just something that you have to really figure out for yourself. Again, how much does that matter to you? When you think about your own personal pros and cons of this situation, if you are really adamant about not seeing each other till the aisle, then choose not to have a first look, but just know all of the consequences that come along with doing so, like having less time for portraits, less variety in your portraits, maybe your hair and makeup is not quite as fresh, your bouquet is not quite as fresh if it's been hot outside. So that is something that you need to keep in mind if that is the choice you make. I always tell my clients, whatever you want to do is great. I will adapt to any situation, but you do need to know 
what is going to happen or what you will miss out on or what you are going to lose out on based on your decision. So it is really important that you know all of these facts in order to make your decision. Now, funny enough, in pretty much all of my bride and groom couples that decide not to do a first look, it's always the groom that made that decision and the bride just lets him do it because that's like the only thing he asked for. And so that's a situation that I see fairly often where the bride wanted to, but the groom does not. And then get in that situation, if that's something he or she is really firm about, then have a discussion. And if that's really truly what they want and they value that more than all of the pros that I've listed, then don't do a first look. If you guys do not do a first look, and you wanted more portraits, but obviously it couldn't happen because you didn't have that much time, one thing you can do, and this will cost money to do, it's not going to be free, but you could have a day after session where you get back into your wedding attire, maybe you get another bouquet, maybe you don't, and you take portraits as if it were your wedding day, and you could take those anywhere. So that is something that you guys could do with your wedding photographer or with a different photographer. If you want it to be cohesive in your album, then I would choose the same person if possible. But again, that is going to cost you money to do that. That's not going to be free. So that's something that you can consider if you wanted more of those portraits but couldn't get them because you did not have time on the wedding day, whether it's because you didn't do a first look or it was raining or any other reason. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. Uh, I think if you are on the fence, you just need to write out a list of all these things I've talked about evaluate really how much certain things matter to you. Is it important for you to spend more time with your guests? Is that a huge thing for you? Then you might wanna do a first look. Is it more important to you to be traditional? Then don't do a first look. So there's so many pros and cons, but for some people, the pros aren't really that important. And for some people, the cons aren't really that important. So you have to make this decision for yourself. But again, I typically recommend for most of my clients, especially winter weddings, that a first look is really the way to go. You get so much out of it by having more pictures, more time, I think less stress, and it just feels more relaxing because after your ceremony, you don't have to jump straight into posing. You can go enjoy it because it's really a big shift in gears between walking down the aisle, being happy, greeting all your guests, and then being pulled off to the side to stand and pose for formal portraits. But again, this choice is up to you guys. I am just here to give you all the information and I hope that now you can make a decision that is right for the two of you. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and I will see you next time. Bye.